One of the modalities that we use in my practice is called ozone therapy or O3 therapy. And it's the use of O3, which is a extra molecule of oxygen to help stimulate the mitochondria. When we look at the biochemistry of cells, oxygen is one of the, is the most important thing that we need to put into our cells. And the level where the, well, not the level where, where oxygen goes into the cell is in the mitochondria. And with that, we can produce extra ATP and NAD to NADH. And the complication of the, the Krebs cycle that I'm not going to get into is really where this is such a cellular component that is overlooked in conventional medicine. On the larger scale, what we look at with ozone and O3 therapy is the microcirculation that occurs because of the higher amounts of oxygen that are given to the animal via ozone therapy. When we give ozone therapy, we can deliver it in many different ways. The most common way that we utilize it here is through a subcutaneous salings injection. So if I take this chart and I show you, we take pure surgical oxygen over here, we put it through an ozone generator. We have an oxygen cylinder. This is the ozone generator here. We take the oxygen and it runs through the ozone generator where it's converted partially into O3 and most it's oxygen and O3 mixture. We then bubble that into saline um, and, and for like a half an hour to saturate the O3, O2 into the saline. And then we can deliver it here to an animal in so many different ways. We do it subcutaneously, we rinse ears, we soak paws, we give enemas, we do um, uh, wound soaking, you know, in, injecting it into the wounds, injecting into abscesses. And what it's doing is it's bringing down inflammation. It is acting as an antibacterial because it's killing the abnormal bacteria that's in that area. So there's so many different ways to administer saline. We even use it during surgery. We flush bladders, we flush the abdomen, we flush the teeth before dentals, we flush the teeth after dentals. We give them uh, dent, uh, ozone subcutaneously and orally during the dentistry so we can keep the inflammation down. And we don't need to use any antibiotics for dentals at all because it gets rid of the bacteria that we're trying to prevent from circulating into the mouth. So we're flushing the mouth flushing the pockets that are there with the O3. And it's very important, I think, as part of dentistry. The American Dental Association has now included ozone as part of the way that we care for human mouths. So animal mouths are just as full of bacteria as humans are. So we want to flush those out and clean it so we can clean those teeth well. Other ways that you can use ozone is we can bubble it here through saline and then olive oil and then in that way it can be um, inhaled. If you don't do that you cannot inhale ozone. It is very toxic and irritating to your lungs. So you want to make sure you buffer it through saline and water if you're going to inhale it. So we'll bubble it through that if we're going to put it within the ears um, for animals that have vestibular disease or ear infections. Um, we'll use it uh, you know to, uh, to bag a foot that has MRSA or some kind of infection that's going on that we can't control with antibiotics or any drugs. So in combination with the ozone, and we have a hyperbaric chamber here too as well, and we can do that in tandem for animals that have, um, have Lyme or have other in inflammation that we want to reduce with, with um, lots of oxygen. Because the idea is more oxygen, the body heals faster. If you can put oxygen into a wound and clean it with ozone instead of cleaning it with some type of a strong chemical, you actually can make the cells that are there heal faster. So you want the cells to heal as fast as they can. And we've had animals that have had complete degloving wounds that were told to be amputated, that we were able to save the legs using ozone and acupuncture and homeopathy and all the other modalities together to save the limb. But the oxygen part is really crucial. It's really important to get oxygen into tissue.